Well, let's do the U.S. first. Uh, the United States in this period, the 1970s, was a major sponsor of the military dictatorships that had overthrown uh, some democracies, some faltering civilian governments. Uh, whatever it was, the result was governments like Videla, like Pinochet, like Banser in Bolivia, who were killing their citizens with impunity. Uh, the United States knew about the uh, uh, about the mass killing. Uh, we had this kind of um, schizophrenic, Machiavellian attitude toward it. Uh, we, we really don't want these communists to be taking over governments, and we fear that democracy is leading to communist governments. Indeed, uh, a leftist government led by Salvador Allende uh, installed a, a democratically elected civilian and revolutionary government in Chile, and that's why Pin and Pinochet overthrew that government. The United States was deathly fearful that this would spread in Latin America, and so supported the coming of dictatorships. When they began mass killings, the United States was aware of these mass killings. Uh, when they, uh, they learned of Condor shortly after it was created, there's no evidence that they knew about it the day it was created. Uh, the, the earliest evidence is a couple months after it began its operations. Uh, but they certainly knew these things were happening. And if you look at the, the meetings, the transcripts of the meetings between Henry Kissinger and these leaders, both in Argentina and in uh, Chile, where we have the records, what do they say in private? You know, we support what you are doing. We understand that you have to assert your authority. Uh, try your best to release some prisoners because I'm under a lot of pressure in Congress, because the, the Democrats are trying to make me, uh, you know, defend human rights. Do the best you can, but I understand what you're doing. And in, in one, one case, uh, two weeks after Kissinger visited Santiago, uh, there was a, the second major meeting of all the Condor countries to discuss Condor. And at that meeting in June 1976, they approved operations for assassination outside of Latin America. The first assassination that occurred was in Washington, D.C. Orlando Letelier, the former foreign minister, was killed uh, on the streets of Washington. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.